What's up, y'all? This is my favorite day to talk to y'all because it's Friday. And I clean my house today, so my weekend will be, I ain't gonna say like, it's like at my niece's graduation. It's kind of clean, my deep, my deep clean of my house today. I'll have to clean more, of course, like hello. But. I did a deep clean, and I hadn't really been able to do a lot in my healing stages, but I'm getting better, getting more flexible, so I'm doing a little more things, you know, gave my dog a bath, she hid from me, like, she makes my life so hard, like, and she's feeling better, so thank you for people that prayed, she, whatever she had, it was gone, because she back to eating and acting crazy, so... Man, if we all had the resilience of a dog. Uh, yeah, that was pretty much my day cleaning. Um, I was able to eat some chicken today, which was nice. That was just nice to be able to, to have something sit in my stomach that didn't make me feel like I ate a whole turkey. So, it was a good day for food. Amen. Other than that, y'all, that's about it. Just cleaning and just, like, ready to knock this day out. Ready to, to get all this stuff over with. How about you? Um, let's get into this news. Which Kansas City Chiefs game could Taylor Swift attend? I don't know. I don't care. For people in Dana, nearly a million customers are without power in Texas as severe storm slam Houston. Houston be getting hit like crazy. In Indianapolis, most anticipated rookie debut since Peyton Manning in 1988, Kaylin Clark did not deliver expected performance. I mean, yo, this is her first game. I just hope she can hack it because the critiques that she received is something else. A new study of cardiac arrest survivors suggests almost 40% of people that underwent CPR had memories, dreamlike experiences, or some type of perception while they were unconscious. Kelly Clarkson has revealed she slimmed down on taking medication, but it's not Ozempic. Okay. Um, Google says it's testing a way to scan people's phone calls in real time for signs of financial scams. Okay, Google, are you the financial scammer? A 91-year-old $500,000 donation has saved a tiny Missouri volunteer fire company from certain doom. They got 500000 to run that little thing. Just need some water. A couple good trucks. Most of the bill's focus is proposed North Carolina law would not would make it illegal to wear masks in public. People, so dodo. Community rallies to replace Jackie Robinson's statue after it was stolen from a Little League park. Dude literally stole that money and cut it up for some meth money, pretty much. U.S. House passes a bill that would restrict the president's ability to withhold weapons transfers to Israel. The vote was largely symbolic as the legislation is not expected to be taken up to city. Interesting. Jane Fonda is getting a Jane Fonda day in L.A. and some Vietnamese Americans are angry. Jane Fonda, leave that lady alone. A bill in California that aimed to ban the sale of anti-aging skin products to kids under 13 failed to advance in a state assembly Thursday after being brought forward. I mean, kids are shopping in Ulta Beauty, so I don't know how y'all can stop kids from doing that. The number of medications to treat debilitating menopause symptoms is slowly expanding, but many women and doctors say some health insurance companies are forcing patients to use other drugs before they'll pay for it. Day 18 of Trump's hush money trial. But I I, I don't care enough. I'm sorry. 
Trump and Biden are going to be meeting in a debate within a month. United Airlines says the FAA has cleared it to start adding new aircraft and routes months after the regular regulator stepped up its scrutiny of the carrier following several safety conditions. Um, Benjamin Crump, I'm like, is he the only attorney for black families killed by cops? I just want to know. Do we not have any other ones? But a lawyer for the family of Roger Forson says body camera and video from the Florida Sheriff's deputy who killed Forson, as well as police radio support their assertion that the deputy went to the wrong apartment. It's <clears throat> crazy. The world's oceans have gone crazy haywire, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, with the record high temperatures and pearl coral reefs. Yeah. I can only imagine what's in there. They're going to give Morehouse College is giving President Biden a doctorate. Take what you want on that. When a Mexican farm worker is killed in Florida when a pickup truck was sideswiped, their bus had arrived in the U.S. only 15 days before the worker saved money for its marriage. That, that was crazy. Abbott issued a pardon for the Army sergeant convicted of murder last year to the fatal shooting of a protester in downtown Austin. 18 Mexican American restaurants were honored with Michelin stars this year, including a humble taco stand in Mexico City. A 26 year old man is charged with arson for allegedly setting fire to the home of the father of the New York trooper who gave him tickets. Dang. Talk about retaliation. Coach CB, a North Carolina preschooler, paces the sidelines, sits courtside with his arms folded and takes knees when con- concentrating on a play. They're all f- moves the five-year-old picked up from sh- shadowing his high school basketball coach dad. Coach CB, he be getting it. Can only imagine that little dude in your face. All right. Let me see what I liked on this app today. So I used to want to think I wanted to be a truck driver when I retired, but videos like this just make me remember that no, I don't. So here is the dash cam footage that shows a moment a female trucker who plunged off the Ohio River Bridge after swerving to avoid a car. She spent around an a half an hour in the cab of her 18-wheeler as it dangled over the nearly 100-year-old bridge. She <laughs> She did a little scream, but, like, she calmed herself. I would have probably, like, literally took my seatbelt off, opened the door, and jumped in a river. But she literally stayed in her seatbelt, calmed herself. Like, she survived, but, no, nah, I don't want to be. Because people drive too crazy, and it wasn't her fault. Somebody was driving erratically, but, man... So this dude bought a 60-inch TV from someone off the street, but it's only showing the Taco Bell menu. It's got to be a way, bro. This was so funny. Why did somebody get his auntie this dress that she wore to church? Did she know what she was wearing, child? Uh, and I know everybody's eyesight is bad, but... So this lady put this guy in a headlock. He was, like, filming her in the women's dressing room. And so she put him in a headlock until the police came. That's crazy. All right. Rumors on the street, y'all, that Ben and Jen might be splitting up. I mean, Ben looks so miserable all the time. I think Ben 
Ben had that severe drinking problem, severe gambling, and then he just got married to J-Lo. I don't know. That dude was having, like, a whole, be like, crisis. Um, Colorado I-70 crash driver cruises through fireball after a tanker truck explodes. Dang, he was like, screw it. I'm still going. Ben Affleck leaving LA home he's been staying at a men J Lo Swift rumor, so guess he's staying in another home. The dude has never looked happy in their marriage, which is crazy. Kevin Space and Spacey, prominent stars want him acting. Sharon Stone and Liam Neeson. I mean, Kevin Spacey was a good actor, I ain't gonna lie. Would I say bring him back? No, but he was a good actor. Jennifer Lopez likes an IG post about broken relationships. <sighs> Is J-Lo just really a mega B like everybody thinks? I'm not even talking about Taylor and Travis right now. Case, former Casey LGBTQ commissioner, chiefs need to speak on Bucker, not like Kaepernick at all. Mary Jane Gonzalez, another neighborhood shooting. People need to see the issues. Mary Jane, if people shoot like that in your neighborhood, please tell your son don't look out the window, please. Riley Strange's family breaks down in tears while accepting his diploma. Will Goldberg defends Butker, says he has a right to speak his mind. He do. But I can't speak my mind on my job, baby. I get fired. The airline worker plummets several feet out of a plane. Coworkers move ladder. That was crazy. Diddy's alleged drug mule accepts the deal in a drug case, and he's not getting no jail time. Wonder why he ain't got no jail time. That's kind of sketchy. Could it be that he might be flipping? Cardi B says she's not voting for Biden or Trump. Really, Cardi, I don't blame you. It's really, it's really just... Kim K went and visited the... L.A. Sparks. You know Kim. She gonna go. Haley Bieber ordered egg salad, pickles, and hot sauce. Ugh. I only pregnancy pregnancy I ever had was like cereal and eggs. That's probably why I literally can't stand eggs now. Seriously. Um... Alright, see what else we got. <laughs> Lauren Hill may have new music dropping as fans are ecstatic. Lauren Hill come out with music before Rihanna is wild. see this picture if you, can, if you want to see any of this stuff it's at love and marriage on youtube but if you can see this picture that i'm looking at i'm gonna go with i'm probably gonna go with a just because i ain't feeling that rice i don't like me some salmon We covered everything on this. Let's get over to the Reddits. What in 
so that deeply hurt you, you won't forget. When I was in the third grade and I went to school, a new school, and on my first day, this girl told me, like, I was, I don't even know. Anyway, she said I was looking at her. I don't know. But she said, what you looking at, you atomic dog? And I was like, just like, man, I hate it starting new schools. And so I just put my head down for like the rest of the day. Because I probably was daydreaming and she probably thought I was looking at her. But yeah, she called me an atomic dog. And at that time, I didn't really know what that meant. I just knew she called me a dog. But yeah, I didn't like that. Somebody said, when I was 14, while having a fight with my dad, he told me that they shouldn't have had me. Almost 20 years later, I've never forgotten that. Y'all saw, because boy, when parents be saying some stuff like that. Did you call me dumb when I asked about a concept the third time? Father-in-law caught a family meeting. Wife and I drove over. I ended up having to sit in the car because he wanted a family only, despite having been with my wife for 20 years. I'll never forget that I'm not family. Man, get over it. Boundaries, dog. I wouldn't even be hurt. Like, if my, if my husband's wife said, I mean, if my husband's mom said family meeting, I wouldn't carry my butt over there. Like, oh, that is... Y'all be wanting me too involved. That'd just be crazy to me. My grandmother telling me I was useless and that no one likes me. I wasn't too choked up when she passed. <laughs> some of y'all be having some evil grandmothers. I hate that for y'all. My brother's girlfriend said to me, you would look nice if you could to carry yourself. I was in the middle of a divorce, working night shift, and trying to hold it together for my kids. Boy, you worry about what your brother's girlfriend said. Years ago, when I just started college, some friends and I were sitting in the cafeteria, and one of the new friends' definition of spoiled rich kids saw something, someone getting food and started ranting about how much of a loser this person was. He said things like, he never dresses nice, he always wears hand-me-downs, couldn't stop his broke parents from splitting, and now neither wanted him. Dang, they gave him the whole rundown. All the dude was doing was trying to get some food. Grade two, I was told to mouth the words in the choir instead of sing. I was... I still have a complex about singing. <laughs> Yo, teacher told you you couldn't sing in the second grade. That was funny. You're worthless. My dad, five years ago, this is why I never speak to him. Man, if y'all would have grew up in my house, I can write Reddit all day. My father told me I'm a bee who deserves to be miserable. Dang. It was a final blow in 25 years of trouble. Things he said to me, all things he conveniently forgets and rolls his eyes that. You know, they get amnesia when they get old now, so they don't remember nothing. Don't know why it stung so bad, but a tile contractor was on a job, and, and a dad was walking his little boy down the street. The boy looked over at me, saw me working with tools, and said something like, I want to be like you when I grow up. The dad without a beat says, come on, son, you're better than that. I'm very good at my job, but don't really like it, and I've always been a little self-conscious about it. I don't even really blame the dad because, dude, the dad just mad because he don't know how to do towel. My sister told me no one would ever marry me. This was over 10 years ago, and it still stings. Dang. What embarrassing thing have you found while helping a friend move? I've seen... I've seen lots of dildos and fires. Not in the movie, but my friend just bought a house from a nice old lady. We were gutting the basement so he could renovate it. And when we ripped down the part of the ceiling, an old leather satchel fell from the ground. We both looked at the satchel, looked at each other, and assumed we found a bag full of cash. We opened it up, wondering how it's newfound money. And there was lots of pictures of the nice old lady, her husband, and friends. And none of them were wearing any clothes. Oh, uh, yeah swinger pictures i was helping my dad clear out my grandpa's old stuff after he passed away we were in the garage we found a huge box of vhs tapes my dad kept giving me a stack to go inside and run into vcr the first one i popped up started out and it was porn the second one was porn the third one was porn yep that was porn oh man had a little hankering for some porn 
a big friend moved with his dad and he asked me to be the one to carry a specific box to the truck i know my friend has not come out to his parents assume some of the stuff about content said no more about it accept responsibility i pick it up every night i expect it to be the tape on the bottom gives in the single rubber <laughs> dildo falls out right in front of my of his dad my poor friend looks absolutely horrified and zad looks at him and said that thing clean friend basically squeaks yes dad picks it up tossing him back into the box and continues pack take his stuff i get an update on the follow up the next couple of days his dad has known he's gay since high school most parents be knowing y'all gay they just wait for y'all to say something after my father-in-law passed away i was helping the family pack my mother-in-law but up for a move and while going through a bookshelf i found a large cache of not tasteful nude photos they were of my mother-in-law stuff that he stole from me that was pretty disturbing that's too long a stack of hardcover copies of my awakening some weird stuff all right let's um get over to am i the a-hole did y'all already hear this voice crack a lacking for asking my wife not to hang out with her friend who has a different lifestyle than us because I'm afraid of losing her. You can lose your wife because she's hanging out with a friend and she ain't really your wife. But they're in their 30s, 37 and 35. They've been married for 14 years and you still stress. They have a 14 and 12 year old. I'm about to breeze through this. So she found out, fought, found her best friend from college. Yeah, yeah, people just write this long thing about everything. So then they divide their chores and they have a mixed gender group of friends. Anna is friends with men and her husband's friends with women, which I always consider inappropriate in a serious relationship. My wife invited Anna and her husband for dinner because she really wanted me to meet them. She hoped we would both start going to all these cultural events with them. They were very polite and respectful and didn't comment in any way a difference of our lifestyle. But dinner was nevertheless quite tiresome for me as I didn't have any common topics with them. My wife knows that I don't share her passion in literature just as she doesn't share my interest in technology. But this has never been an issue in our marriage. We travel together, blah, blah, blah. And I started to take my wife to some literary events, organized come on man come on you're killing me but only told my wife that i was uncomfortable with her friendship with anna and that i was afraid the friendship would change just for the worse because they like to read literature he said i can't forbid her to see anna and friends but that friendship really makes me uncomfortable she was sad but understood me I don't like that. Yesterday, I talked to my older brother, his advice always appreciated about the situation. He said that me and my wife married really young and that it's understandable that she might feel like she's missing out. Yeah, she liked to read. Y'all married young. Who knows? <laughs> First thing was, you're the a-hole. I went into this thing, and it was a wild single friend trying to corrupt your wife into going out drinking. You might have justified in those. Your wife is seeing that she has some worth beyond being a housewife, and you don't like it. You're supposed to be support each other. Yes, this Harrison Bucker that wrote this. You made it sound like she was starting to go out club, and she's writing in a column. Yeah, I mean, she's like literature and art. Like, the dude's crazy. That's crazy. Am I the a-hole for making my husband choose between a friend and of his? What's up with all this? Part of me feels bad, but part of me doesn't, so I don't know if I'm here in validation. I gave birth eight months ago, and I definitely was slapped with the postpartum depression. My husband and I moved right beside his best friend and girlfriend back in October, and they also just had a baby. We share a yard. I'm getting incredibly touched by out. Mm-hmm. By my husband's relationship with Claire, he's only known her as long as I have, and they're both disrespectful of me and Chris. I understand I have zero issues with my husband I have my female friends. He has plenty. However, there's been a lot of things I'm simply not okay with, like the fact that Claire won't come outdoors if I'm outside, but if my husband's outside, she runs right over. She, girl, I think I read this. I feel like I read this one before, but 
<clears throat> Tell your husband what the deal is and the tighten up. That's that on that. All right. Y'all, y'all hear this voice cracking. It's going downhill. Let's get into these story times. any couple out. I ain't gonna lie. Moving is it's hard on a relationship. It is hard. But they was going through it that day, baby. Ooh, they was going through it. Was a little bigger than he is. 
So when the day before I was putting my shoes on and I accidentally put his on and I said, what's wrong with these? I'm like, these are too tight. And then I figured out that they were his and not mine. He said that really hurt his ego and that made him realize that he couldn't continue the relationship with us. part is you know i mean she dodged a bullet but she got a baby but she dodged a bullet because if he already feeling that about that he got insecurities about a lot of stuff crazy shit my mom did when i was a child but story time one time when i was in third grade they was trying to hold me back this is back before they did that no child left behind shit and you really can't fail kids anymore this is back when they really failed fucking kids and they didn't give a shit so this lady was like your daughter's behind in reading. We're going to have a meeting. And I remember sitting in the class that day, and she said, well, we, we've asked your mother to be here. And I was like, that's a mistake. I was in third grade, and I knew it was a mistake. I looked at that lady, I said, you don't want her here. I don't want her here. Nobody wants her here. I remember saying that clearly to them. They didn't get the memo. I remember them coming to get me. We get down to this room that has this circular table in it, okay? Mom's not there yet. And it's just this, the assistant principal, my teacher, and me. And I'm sitting in a chair. There's this newspaper, I guess from the meeting before, that's in the middle of the fucking thing. Well, she ends up um, coming in. And I knew she was in a bad mood. She had been out drinking the night before. She was pissed. She was in some jogging pants that had paint on them, no bra, a big-ass T-shirt. And she was like, as soon as she opened that door, she said, why the fuck am I here? And I knew by that, why the fuck am I here, that somebody was getting fucked up. I was just hoping it wasn't going to be me. I'm kind of glad it wasn't this day. So she ends up, they end up sitting my mom down. They can tell she's irate. She's hung the fuck over. She's got these sunglasses on with this big-ass puffer coat. I don't know what the fuck. And let me tell you, the jogger pants were bright-ass green. I don't know. That's just what she chose the word to a fucking meeting. So we're in there, and they're like, we're going to fail her. We're holding her back this for third grade because she can't read. My mom said, you ain't fucking failing her. And they said, ma'am, we have to. She's not reaching grade level, blah, blah, blah. My mom said, nobody's failing my kid. And grabs the paper, slams it in front of me. She said, so then my mom says, you read this motherfucker and you read this now. And if you miss a fucking word, I'm knocking your fucking teeth down your throat. Whooping this bitch and I'm going to jail for the night and going to bed. She was not lying. I knew she would do this. So I read a whole fucking paragraph. Didn't miss a fucking beat. And then my mom looked at that lady and said, I told you she can fucking read. She's not being failed. That lady kept getting smart. My mom said, you got one more time to be smart me. And I looked at that lady and I was like, she's about to get fucked up. Because I knew, I seen my mom do this shit at home with the people in the neighborhood. I knew what was about to happen. She's getting madder and madder. I was like, we need to go. Like in my head, I'm like, this is not a good situation. You know? Uh, well, <laughs> my mom, she ended up saying one more smart thing to my mom. My mom ended up grabbing her over the table, slamming her on her head, and holding her down until they like... They literally, I think she held her captive, me, her, and my mom, or me, my mom, and that girl, the pr assistant principal, was in the office until the cops come in and got my mom. It was a hostage situation. She's never allowed on any, in the local school, public school systems, properties, none of them. And this happened when I was like in third grade, and I'm 39 now. She still can't be on there. Doesn't matter for what. She can't. She'll go to jail. Man, I miss old school parenting though, because back in the day, you could lay hands on some teachers, for real. Man, I wish I, I kind of wish I was a parent in the era. Nowadays, everything's so, you know, but back in the day, boy, you can go off on a teacher, baby. My mom and I went off on a lot of teachers. I miss some days. Story time on how I found out my best friend of five years, my baby's godmother, actually hated me our entire five years of being friends. And yesterday, she confessed to me after five years, she never liked me, she hated my guts the entire time. And why you should vet your friendships just the same way that you vet your relationships. Me and this girl was friends since 2020, during the pandemic, like early 2020, we met on social media, I think it was even 2019. We hit it off real well, she... We had the same interests, I'll just say that. We didn't officially meet up in person until I moved to Atlanta in 2020.
2021 because she lives in South Carolina and I was in New Jersey, New York. So obviously coming to South Carolina was not in the plans. We're building a friendship. We're getting real close. I get married in 2021. She was already married for two years when we met. So our husbands met. They got super close. We had this whole like family group chat. We all close and dee 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 dee. Right? We are like peas in the pod, all of us. I say peas in the pod, I mean families meeting each other out at each other's houses we even felt comfortable when we found out we were pregnant in 2022 that they were going to be our new baby's godmother and godfather so this all is catching me by surprise i had to give you a little backstory yesterday i get a call ring 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 catches me off guard completely off guard homegirl says hey i have something to tell you i've been feeling this way for so long but mind you as of recently i've been telling my husband i feel like something is off between me and her like you know when you have that feeling ladies like you know when you know when you know you have a feeling something is off but everything kept flying over my head she asked can she call me we get on the phone and she said all right i got something to tell you for the past four or five years i've never liked you i've always been jealous of you i've always hated you to predict my mouth was like what i literally kept saying what 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 are you talking about we were just planning to see each other next month all of us our families getting together and having a good time for the holidays and this is how you were feeling the entire time but that's not even half of what she had to say she goes on to say that she was always praying against the things that I was praying for. So when I was telling her that my husband and I were praying for a baby, and this was two years ago, almost three years ago, when I was telling her these things, she said that she was praying and hoping that we wouldn't conceive. She was praying and believing that when we were pregnant, the baby wouldn't be born. When I was pregnant around like 26, 27 weeks, you know, when you get tests for gestational diabetes, I was actually diagnosed with gestational diabetes. I had to retake the test. So, you know, you call your friend, you tell your friend or whatever, like, hey, like, pray for me and all these things. Girl said that she was praying that the opposite would happen of what we wanted, which is, of course, for the gestational diabetes to be removed so that I could have a healthy pregnancy. Do you know anything about gestational diabetes in itself? You know, that that's nothing to play with when you are pregnant at all. So the fact that she found that fun and joyful and I still called her a best friend and she knew that this baby was going to be her godchild and she felt comfortable feeling that way blows my mind. So anyways, the whole time we're on the phone, I'm just listening. I'm just quiet because I'm trying to like take in everything that she's saying because I actually can't believe that these things were going over my head. One time when I was pregnant was November of 2022, and that was due March 2023. I was I came to her because I had a feeling like something was off. And again, like when you feel something is off, you really need to take heed and pray about whatever it is that you feel is off of your spirit. So I said something was off. I addressed it with her, and we agreed that we both could do better as friends. I should have took that as a sign right then and there to death this friendship, but she assured me that what I was feeling off was not the case. She was genuinely there to be my friend. The same time I felt this way was the same time I had the gestational diabetes and she felt a way about me being pregnant, I suppose. She continued on to say that she's always felt competition between us. Whenever I started my photography business, she felt competition in there. Alright, but girl, I don't know if this lady was a witch or not, but you should have instantly hung with that. Like, you tell me you don't like me, that's cool. Click by, you blocked, and everything about you done. You don't gotta go down a list of when you had this, I didn't like that. So, no, that's why you can't have everybody pray for you. I hope that you get some better discernment. lady's rv and so she couldn't figure out how to start it because he punched out the ignition and so the police let him out just in j- from jail so he could show her this wild stop 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 it stop 
Those are how you when tickling gets violent. And I'm going to say it again for the ones in the back. I'm not going to celebrate no pre-K, no kindergarten, graduation, none of that. Your baby done spent the whole year drinking apple juice, coloring outside the lines, and taking a nap. We're not celebrating that bullshit. They don't even know what the fuck they get next to And into. Ciao. Misophonia because I can't stand so many sounds. And when I go to the grocery store, I, wa- I wear my headphones. Even sometimes listening back to this, if I hear myself breathe, it's like <laughs> I hate hearing people chew. I hate pe- hearing people. I just all of it and sounds. I hate people talking loud. I mean, typing loud on the keyboard. Oh, I hate when people clang their cereal bowl or slurp milk. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I didn't know this is a thing, but I th- always thought I had rabies or something. snitched on him about some marijuana. So he said I would have got away with it if it wasn't for that meddling pup. I'm assuming he got on the ship, but yeah. Story time about how I thought I found the love of my life and he played me like a fool. Had me sitting here. So yeah, found the man. I thought he was the one. We good. We, you know, everything's going straight. I'm thinking it's the one, y'all. I'm thinking, yes, I can post you. I'm good. I never have to worry about nobody saying nothing. The opposite. <laughs> the opposite. Y'all, my man work. He work late nights. He's a hardworking man. He's like, yeah, princess, whatever you want, I got it. Yeah. I can get a launch. <laughs> yes, y'all, he was that type of man. Like, you want something, you got I thought I hit the score. The great Amazon package that came in an hour. I thought that's what I had. Y'all, he sleep, right? Right? He sleep. So I'm texting his phone, I'm texting his phone, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, babe, like, you know, you up, you up, you up, you up. He sleep. That's what I came to realize. He sleep. So y'all post on my Instagram or whatever. I'm like, y'all, like, you know, looking good, bored, my man sleep. He sees it. Are you better me? Did I say something? Did I not answer your call? Did you find out about something? What did I do? Y'all, he looks again. So now I'm like low-key confused. I'm like, okay, what, what's going on? Right? So now I go to my close friends. So I only put him in it. So I type, I whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah, babe. Like, why are you just watching my story and not responding? He watches it again. Don't say nothing, though. So then I add his name. And I say, babe, what's going on with you? Why are you not answering my phone call? Why in the... Why did somebody text me and say, are you dating him? on the phone and I just added this man why would you take are you dumb so I'm like what you talking about like I'm laughing now like you playing a prank you playing you play where the camera's at where the camera's at <sighs> y'all she's texting me like yeah um how long you been dating him what do we do am I in an interrogation room what are you talking about how long I've been why is it he- who is what are the who let me see who's behind the screen cause now you have me furious I'm I'm finna get mad. <laughs> I'm a thousand miles away. I'm finna get upset. Don't make me go on spirit and tell him to get the soul plane and drive. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, she's like, I'm not 
I'm playing, I can send you the pictures. Here go my number. Oh, you one of them. If somebody tell you drop the Addy, you drop the Addy fast. But don't do that to me. Because what are you talking about? Y'all, why do I text this lady? She's showing me pictures, videos, messages. Why when this man tell me good morning, he's telling her good morning, queen? It's your queen? Why is this nigga saying, oh, yeah, I'm getting off work right now, baby. I'm going to call you. He telling me the same thing. You got a double life? This is Tyler Perry movie. Tyler! Give me my rounds. Because what? Are you serious? Y'all still to this day, I want to murder that man. But you know what? It's cool. <sighs> I used to be down, but now I'm like, okay, yeah. Because now we're good. But you know what? I wish both of them nothing but the best. <laughs> Don't. Hernie's nails. The most delicious. All right, y'all. Yeah, I've been looking at high protein, but I can't handle potatoes yet, though. Well, listen, y'all. I'm so happy it's Friday. We made it through. I am proud of you. You are proud of me. Listen, I'll be back on Sunday or Monday, whatever one, to tell y'all what's popping. Y'all have an amazing weekend. Y'all stay blessed. I'll be praying for you. Y'all pray for me. You are blessed coming in. You're blessed going out. All is well with your home, your health, your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit, your finances, your family. I'm praying for y'all. Y'all stay up.